Hi, today we're going to talk about Shah Abbas I, who reigned in the Safavid Empire from 1588 to 1629. Shah Abbas has been called the greatest king of the Safavid Empire. That is because he saw the Safavid Empire through a golden age in which art such as tile paintings and beautiful, beautiful Persian carpets flourished. And architecture such as can be such as can be found in the capital city he created at Esfahan. He also promoted cultural blender, blending through tolerance. He invited Christians to his court. Many Europeans came to live within the Safavid Empire and traded with them. But Shah Abbas, despite his promotion of the arts and tolerance, also led to the downfall of the Safavid Empire. He had three strong sons that he was very paranoid about. His eldest son, and one who he actually trusted, there were rumors going around his court that this son was plotting to overthrow him, but he didn't believe it. Well, one day, he and his court went out on a hunt, and they found a boar. His son stabbed the boar before Shah Abbas had a chance to. Now, that's bad, because the king was always supposed to get the first shot at the hunt. So he assumed that his son must be plotting to overthrow him, and he had him killed. And then he had two other sons who he had blinded. Now, if you are blind, you cannot be a king of the Safavid Empire. So that immediately ruled them out. So when Shah Abbas died uh, in 1629, the only person left to rule him was his very incompetent grandson, named Safi. So Shah Safi ran the empire into the ground, and it didn't last too much longer. He was followed by a series of incompetent leaders, and the Safavid Empire finally collapsed in 1747.